Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Happy July the 4th to everybody who celebrates that. Um, I missed a brief window in the drilling, so I just hope you can't hear it as much as I can at the moment. Um, now, yes, not everybody in the USA celebrates July the 4th fully. We had an absolutely astonishing email from uh, the constructor of today's puzzle, Tanadian White Owl, who said he found crack in the cryptic just before the pandemic and we've been his saving grace on many occasions uh, today tomorrow this was an email from yesterday will be independence day here in the states and it marks the 10th anniversary of my worst day he goes on to explain that his wife and he lost their daughter five weeks before she was due to be born um, in a fetal demise now apparently our daily videos Give him just a couple of hours not to think about the outside world when you have nothing to do but sit at home i guess this is during the pandemic and think about the uncertainty of what's happening outside your door you find yourself going to dark places his dark place was reliving that day 10 years ago over and over in his mind trying to think of things that could have been done differently to achieve a different outcome and he knows this was a futile exercise and without your channel without our channel may never have pulled himself out of this hole um, again, thanks for everything you do to keep us sane during this challenging time. I am by no means at the level of the set as featured on the channel, but as a simple thank you, attached is a puzzle I created just before the holidays last December. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. I don't have the sensitivity or the life experience to really empathise or help. I mean, honestly, well done for finding something to drag you out of your dark holes. Well done for constructing a puzzle. If we provide any kind of sucker, it's an absolute privilege. Um, and we will continue to try and do so for anybody that we are helping. It is very strange to me that solving puzzles online is helping people, but we get daily evidence that it is, and I'm delighted about that. Uh, but anyway, my thoughts, and I'm sure the thoughts of everybody watching, go out to you and your wife on this very difficult day. Um, the puzzle's called Everything is Broken, and I, I fear that that probably comes from a similar place. I don't know. Um, let's see if we can put it back together today, just for a, just for a moment or two. Um, Obviously, do check out our Patreon where the Joseph Namer content's going on, uh, the, the puzzle competition for the month, and there are various other links under the video. But the first link is to Tanadian White Owl's puzzle, Everything is Broken. Um, and I'm going to be trying that today and trying to keep the lump out of my throat while I do it, because that is one of the saddest stories we've heard. Now, <clears throat> the rules of this are that normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits joined by an X sum to 10 and by a V sum to 5. Digits along an arrow sum to the number in the attached circle. And a clue outside the grid shows the sum of the indicated diagonal, which may include repeat digits, despite the fact that the two clues outside the grid are on the long diagonals and add up to 45. So I guess they may not include repeat digits in this case, but they may. So... That is all we know. Um, it's an interesting idea. It's a sort of very jaggedy shapes in the grid. In the in the grid, um, I'm reminded of Yeats's poem about all things uncomely and broken, which ends with um, something like, "Your image that blossoms a rose in the deeps of my heart," and that's what I shall be thinking about. Right, let's. Let's get crack. Do try it under the video. Do try it on the link under the video. But let's get cracking now. So, ooh, we've got a couple of V's with numbers on. That's very helpful. That gives us another automatic number so that those can add up to five. Um, oh, and look, fours there definitely give us a four here by Sudoku. We suddenly get four fours pointing at one box. So that becomes a four. That's on an X. And we get a six. And we really got started quite quickly there. Um, what else do we get? Nothing from what I've just seen. This spidery circle. 
has to be at least five, I suppose, to have those two arrows in the same column. It's not well. It's not five because it's on an X. Oh, and it's hmm. Okay, so it's six, seven, eight, or nine. Actually, it can't be six. I am going to think about this one. It can't be six because of that four. This cell has to be the complement in making 10. So that's 1, 2, or 3, which makes this 2, 3, or 4 here. And that's going to give only three possibilities here. If you had a 7 here, 3 there, 2 there, you get a 5 here. If you had an 8 here, 2 here, 3 here, and you get a 5 here again. 9 gives you 1, 4. This is always a 5. What's going on there? I suppose, yes, okay, the difference, this number has two add-ends to make 5 and 10. And I suppose, obviously, if I'd thought about that this way, they must be 5 apart. The difference between the number that's required on top of this one to make V and the difference between the number it's required to make X must be 5 which is given here. Okay, that's interesting. I hadn't expected that. Um, does that give me anything else? Look, these, this definitely has three possibilities now. Oh, and they're all even. Ah, okay, yes, this is the difference between these two constituents of 10. So seven minus three would give four, and that's impossible. Eight minus two would give six, and nine minus one would give eight. So that's six or eight. And this can't be 7, so this can't be 3, so this can't be 2. Oh, this is weird. Uh, so there's definitely an 8 in one of those two cells. I'm liking the puzzle. <laughs> there's some interesting things that I haven't really had cause to think about before in Arrow Sudoku. Right, let's keep going. What else have I learnt? Maybe this has run out. Is the V doing anything here? Well, there are only three ways to fill in this V because of that three. So it could be three, two that way round or one, four either way round. Okay, so this digit is the complement of one, three or four to make nine. So it's eight, six or five. This one, O oh, goes to make eight or nine with that. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what to do about that. I don't think I can use the 45 diagonals yet. What about this then? This pair adds up to three, four, or five. So this is seven, eight, or nine. Oh, it can't be seven. Duh. So this pair adds up to three, no, to four or five. If it adds up to four, it's three, one that way around. If it adds up to five, there are two ways to do it, but only one way round each. So it's three, two that way round, or one, four that way round. So this has only two possible fills in the middle. This is now seven or nine to make up this 10 sum. And this, again, it's a bit like that one. It's the even complement. So that's four or eight, oh, which puts six or two on the X. These are all going to collapse down in a moment. When we when we get one of these numbers, we'll be away. Um, ah, does that 8 clash with a possible 8 here? No, it doesn't, because that goes with a 1 here that goes with a 4 here, so a 9 here. So no, it doesn't. This can't be 7, 3, because they're in the box, or 4, 6, because 4 is in the column. So that is 1, 9, or 2, 8. These also can't be 4, 6. Oh, this one can't be 3, 7 either because of that. So that's 1, 9 or 2, 8. We definitely used up the 8 and 9 in these in this box in those cells. Mm. No, I don't quite see what to do next. Um... This circle, and this is a strange one. 
I haven't often seen a circle which has two arrows that end in the same place. So those two digits add up to the same as that. OK, that's what this means. Because that plus either those two or that gives the circle. Right. So those two add up to that. And this can't be a one. So it, it can't be a two because we can't put a six there because there's a six in the box already. So it's three or five. No, no, it can't be five because that would put a nine here and make at least a ten in the circle. So actually that's just a given three. That's so strange. Seven there. Then one or two here and eight or nine in the circle. I don't think we know which way round they go. But what does this do? Seven, four, three. These have to be consecutive digits, I've just realized, because of the one here. Doesn't actually seem very helpful. What can this be? It can't be two because that can't be three. So this is five, six or eight. And this is one bigger, six, seven or nine. Now here, we don't have a consecutive relationship between these two because that can't be one. What can this be? Two, five, six, can't be eight because that can't be one again. And this is bigger than that. Three, one, four, seven, can't be two or five in this case. So six, eight or nine. Now that leaves <laughs> this to be somewhere between zero and seven. Oh, actually not that uninteresting because it can't be one, four or six by Sudoku. So that's two, three or five. So we are getting quite limited numbers. Now, if that was four, seven. Ah, yes. Well, I mean, this does break it. It's possibly not the most beautiful logical step. But if this was a four here, which would arise from this being a seven, four, seven there would put. Oh, well, OK, the simple thing to say is this can't be a two, three V because this would be five and six over here, which adds up to 11. So that's a one four V. And now all of this, I think, is going to unwind. We get nine in the circle, eight there. Now maybe it doesn't all unwind. Yes, no, hang on. We get eight here. So that's nine in the circle, one there, two on the X. This must be a four, which gives us another nine in a circle. That's now not one nine, it's two eight. This isn't one nine, it's two eight. Yeah, 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 two eights all over the shop. Um, and I mean, this has unwind, unwound fairly quickly. Look, look at this arrow. The minimum digits here are three and six, which give the maximum total in a circle, yet another nine in a circle. This is now a seven, eight, nine triple, so that can't be six. Um, eight or nine is added up by these two. So that could be two, six or three, five. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Um, it may not be the most straightforward way of finding out what's going on, but yeah, I mean, that's true. It is either two here and six there or three here and five there to make eight or nine. I think I don't think I've missed options. So uh, maybe it doesn't even help. One, seven, four, three, one. No, two, eight, seven, three. Ah, one and nine. Oh, yes, nine can be placed in this box. There it is. This is now a one. That's four. There's a five, six pair, which looks straight across at this cell and makes it an eight. Now we're going to finish this box, I reckon. One there, four on the arrow, four on the V, five on the arrow. This can't be one, eight or four, five. Mm, still two possibilities. This can't be a five, so that's not a six. Uh, we've got... A naked two here because it sees a five six pair there and three and seven down here three and seven still to place in the top row two five so this is five six so this can't be a nine so the only place for nine in this column has now become here so that must be on a three six arrow take nine out of those this becomes an eight that is a five to make up the column. Now this diagonal is all happening, isn't it? 
9, 15, 24, 33, 37. We need another 8 in these cells. Um, doesn't... Ah, this one is at least 3. So 3 or 5 there. But this could be a 2-1 pair. Oh, what's going on here? This can't be 1, 9, 8, 2 or 4, 6. Right, this is 3, 7. So that's three of the eight. So that's got to be a three with a two in the corner, I reckon. What about this diagonal then? Nine, 13, 22, 24, 28. And that's at least an eight. So that's 36. So the minima, that is three or six. No, it's not three. This column's been done. Didn't notice. Right, 9, let's do it again. 15, 17, 26, 30. These three cells add up to 15 exactly. This one is 5, 6, or 7. This one is 3, 4, 7, 6, 9. 1, 2, 5, or 8. Now the minima is 14, 8, 1, and 5. Ah, but this is really interesting, actually. I mean, this may not be necessary, but it is very interesting. If this is an 8, we get a 1 here. And that must be at least a 2. So we've used up the degree of freedom in the yellow cells. Whereas if this is a 9, then we've already used up the degree of freedom in the yellow cells. Yes, that can be a 1, but we've used it up. So this has to be its minimum. That has to be a 5. That's very neat. This is either one or two. Uh, let's get rid of the yellow there. All, all I know on this diagonal now is that these add up to 10, which is forced by that acting on that anyway. So that's quite, that's very clever. Um, now, we've got a one, two pair there. That places two here. That's a five. Oh, I could have done that before by Sudoku. Well, it's a shame when you spot something that's very clever and Sudoku would have resolved it anyway, but there you go. Sometimes that happens. Uh, it doesn't mean anything is broken. Two there. Now, one, two pair, two, five, seven, four, five. This now has to be a three, six pair. That's a seven. I think we're finishing off now. Three, six, and seven there. Right, these 3, 6 and 2, 8 pairs can be disambiguated. This 7, 8 pair can be as well. That 8 gives us a 9. In, I think that actually completes a set of 9 in every single given circle. Look, it does. I didn't, didn't spot that coming at the beginning, but uh, I guess the chances are always fairly high. I, I imagine that was thematic. 5 and 8 there. 2 and 8 here. 6 and 8. Eight. We've got a one there. We've got a seven and a five, six, three and five. And there we go. That is the solution. We've unbroken everything. That's a very nice puzzle, actually, Tanadian. Um, and certainly, you know, everything I said before, hands. Thank you for having the spirit to write to us as well. That really, I think, shows very well for you and uh, and your future. I don't know anything more about your family, but I wish you all the very best and yeah, hopes for the future and uh, Sudoku to be part of it, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching and really hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.